Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakurash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopefully elect out there, pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and indeed. Your brother Kapatazah from the great millstone Chicago branch. Coming at you with another real quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson, just through the spirit. There's a lot of newcomers that are waking up to this truth, making the rookie mistake, finding out they're Israelites, they want to save the whole world, and then get discouraged or enraged, okay, when, <laughs> you know, as we all know, everybody begins to turn on you. And that a lot of times would include your mother and your father, okay? And as we all know, the scriptures sell us, all right, with man's foes. All right. All right, hold on. It's in the gospel. Let me get it. Matthew 10 and 36. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Now, your foes would be. You know, with your enemies, your 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 opposition, those that are against you. All right. And the first ones that are going to turn on you when the Lord wakes you up to this truth is your your friends, your best of friends and your family. OK. And this is why we tell people, even though Jake continued, they, they, it's just a thing, man. All right. When the Lord wakes you up to this truth, do not go trying to save the world and wake everybody up. All right. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. OK. Nonetheless, we all did it. And Jake is going to continue to do it, <laughs> especially when you live with him. All right. For those that live with their mother and, and father or, you know, still live with a OG, whomever it may be. The scriptures are going to come up. All right. This thing of ours, this faith is going to come up. All right. So just for wisdom's sake, the spirit just had me make this lesson. All right. Even if they reject the gospel, you still have to honor thy mother and thy father. All right. This is Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land, which Yahweh thy power giveth thee. All right. Now, that's 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 one of the Ten Commandments for a reason. We have to honor them. All right. Now. Things happen. There becomes a rift between the believers and the non-believers, okay? Especially for you younger Akim out there, and even hell, even younger sisters out there that are going through the same. There begins to uh, create, a, a tension is created inside the household. So you have to use wisdom, all right? Don't be trying to bring this truth to your mother and father, all right? Especially after they've already rejected, all right? After the first or second admonition, reject, all right? Hey, leave it alone. OK, nonetheless, you have to honor them. All right. You can't be talking shit about them. You can't be throwing up curses on them. The Lord, the Lord will really jack you up for that. All right. You can't be doing none of that. All right. Eventually, the best thing for you to do would be to move, find your own place. All right. For brothers out there, young brothers, hey, try to get with a younger brother. Hey, and, and, and y'all, you know, cohabitate or, you know, if the Lord has blessed you and you got it. Hey, get you a little studio or something. Trap it out by yourself, all right? That's the best way to do it. But what happens is when you do make that move or, you know, when you are in the household, look, man, honor your OGs, at least acknowledge them, all right? I'm not saying, you know, for people that don't live with their OGs, I'm not saying you got to call them every Sunday at one o'clock. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying that, all right? I'm, I, I don't even do that. OK, but hey, you know, just a, a little phone call here and there, you know, every blue moon just to check on them, just to make sure they straight. All right. Just shoot the shit. Hey, you know, just showing some love. All right. If they if they invite you over for the barbecue, it, it, whatever, you know, what I mean, hey, it's OK to go. You can go. All right. They going hey, they going to celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving and all that shit. Hey, they going to buy you gifts for Christmas. It's OK to accept them. If you don't want to accept, that's fine. But it's OK to take the gift, man. OK, just moving with wisdom, winking at the ignorance. OK, don't go bringing Jeremiah to temp chapter, you know, even though it's right. OK, for the sake of wisdom, man, look, 
you got to move a certain way. OK, that, that's a part of having a good report, man. All right. They're going to understand that you don't do certain things that you used to do. You don't partake in certain customs that they partake in. They're going to understand that, man. All right. But it's up to us to utilize prudence and wisdom and how you dealing with the indiscreet. The scriptures talk about that, man. All right. If thou be amongst the indiscreet. Let's just try not to be O.R. or, or over righteous. All right. Sirach 27 and 12. If you be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but be continually among men of understanding. Right. So, you know, understand what time you in, man. OK. Shit. Yeah. Your parents are going to turn on you. OK. But, hey, you don't don't you get out of pocket with your parents. Don't you get to uh, talking shit to your parents being disrespectful. OK. The Lord will, will really fuck you up for that, man, for lack of a better word. All right. Look to you. How is shy as an example? Hey, he knew Judas was going to cross him. He knew this already. All right. But hey, he he just continued on with the regular schedule program because that was the Lord's will. All right. You ain't see him rising up saying, hey, man, Judas, you you a real bitch ass nigga. And, you know, he didn't do any of that. OK. Hell, when Judas came to betray him, you know, he 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 embraced him. You know, he hugged him, even though this was this was the man that was going to turn you over to the Romans. All right. I'm not saying we have to do that. I'm saying just follow that mindset of your house shy, man. You know, a, a little phone call here and there. You know, if you have the means to pop up on your OGs, man, you know, just to just to show your face. Do that, man. All right. You're still their son. All right. You're still their daughter. OK. Believe it or not, they may think you're going through a phase. They may not agree with everything that you're with. All right. But hey, it's it's OK to show that reverence and that respect. You have to show that reverence and that respect. All right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter three. Uh, I start at one. It says, hear me, your father, O children, and do thereafter that you may be safe. For the Lord have given the father honor over the children and have confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Right. Whoso honoreth his father maketh an atonement for his sins. See that? Whoso honoreth his father maketh an atonement for his sins. OK, now I'm not saying you've got to be a, a son or daughter of the year. That's that's not what I'm saying. I'm simply just saying have that reverence, man. Acknowledge their existence. <laughs> OK, all right. You don't just don't just straight up just, you know, what I mean, to hell with them if they're still around. OK, if they're still being reasonable with you, if they're still willing to talk to you and, and want to see you. Hey, man, give them a holler at them sometimes. All right. Like I said, if your parents live close, hey, pop up on them every blue moon. OK, you don't have to go to every barbecue. You don't have to go to every Christmas and Thanksgiving. You ain't got to do all that. But shit, it's OK to pop up to say what's up, man. All right. Hey, you know, I still love y'all. And if you hungry, hey, it's OK. Hey, nigga, fix you a plate, man. <laughs> all right. It's OK. All right. Just make sure it ain't no swine on it. Of course, no shrimp, lobster, none of them crustaceans. Of course, you know, it's OK, man. It says verse four, and he that honoreth his mother is as one that layeth up treasure. Whoso honoreth his father shall have joy of his own children. And when he maketh his prayer, he shall be heard. All right. So th th this is very important, man. OK. And the spirit was just on me to make this lesson because, hey, real talk. Hey, hey, shit. Some of us grew up without a father. That resentment may still be there. You got to get rid of that. You got to get rid of that. All right. You, hey, you got Hey, that's got to be water under the bridge, man. OK. You got to forgive your father for his trespasses. You want your trespasses forgiven. OK. And to the to the young sisters out there that may be listening. I look, I know some of these Israelite fathers, hey, they they done did some real foul out of pocket shit to their own daughters, man. I don't even have to get into it. Y'all already know some it's some of these some of these so-called fathers out here. Done, they done did some foul bugged out shit to their daughters, man, for real. For real. All right. And that I, know, I understand that is a heavy 
weighty matter. All right. But for whatever reason, your how about you out shy? Let that happen. It's a reason for it. All right. Whatever the judgment was, hey, let it go. Okay. And still show that same respect, man. Okay. And again, you don't have to be father. Uh, I mean, it's like you don't have to be son or daughter of the year. It's not what I'm saying. But hey, let's just let's 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 move on. Let's forgive the trespasses. Let's move on. All right. Cause hey, I hey, I had art with my father, man. You know, but he knows that I love him. I don't call him every week, but shit, I make sure I, you know, I call him. You know, they live all the way in Tampa. All right, shout out GMS Tampa, all the brothers out there, you know. But uh, yeah, man, I make sure I give him a call every blue moon just to let him know, hey, I I'm acknowledging them. Hey, I still love y'all. You know, even though y'all bugged the hell out, hey, the Lord saw fit for me to uh. uh for me to come from them, you know, the Lord chose my my father to be a vessel to bring me forth, you know what I mean, and, and, and to my mother, you know, the Lord saw her fit to carry me for nine months, all right, for whatever reason, okay, so you know what, I'm going to have reverence for them, because the things that they've done for me, I can never repay them for at the end of the day, all right, it says, I'm going to keep going, verse six, he that honoreth his father shall have a long life. And he that is obedient unto the Lord shall be a comfort unto his mother. He that fear of the Lord will honor his father and will do service unto his parents as to masters. Honor thy father and mother, both in word and deed, that a blessing may come upon thee from them. Right? So, hey, that, that's the breakdown, man. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get a... Uh... All right. Because when the Lord said, love your enemies, hey, a man's foes shall be there of his own household. Shit, hey, man, you still got to love your OGs, man. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Okay, this is what Yahweh Shai was talking about, man. All right, it's going to be them uh, close friends and family, man. They're going to they're gonna be opposition to you, man. So what? We have to move with wisdom accordingly that we may not offend the Lord, man. Okay. Making sure that we don't get out of bounds with Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It says, but I say unto you, Matthew 5 and 44, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, okay? So, hey, that's what Yahweh Shai was talking about. He wasn't talking about Esau and them. He was talking about your own bloodline. People in your own, your, you know, people that's in your inner circle, man. All right? This is how you deal with them. According to wisdom. That's all. All right. Verse 45, that ye may be the children of your father, which is in heaven, for he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Right. For if you love them, which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans the same. And if you salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so be ye therefore perfect. Even as your father, which is in heaven, is perfect, man. So, hey, that's this is what we got to do. Was not Yahweh Shai perfect towards Judas, the man that betrayed him, that he knew was going to betray him? Come on now. So, hey, let's try to <laughs> let's try to exercise at least some of that same equity and wisdom towards our OGs. OK. All right. So uh, that's all I wanted, man. You know, I hope this was edifying. All praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, Shalom, and Ababa Ball.